Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video, very special video for you today. As you can see there, a Velocity 1 stand and the rudder pedals. An early gift, very early gift from Turtle Beach. I've been backwards and forwards chatting with, emailing with a couple of uh, Turtle Beach PR employees. And essentially, they've let me get hold of the stand early for review purposes. Now, even though this is a gift from Turtle Beach, I'm not going to withhold any punches. I'm going to give you my genuine thoughts on the stand. The rudder pedals will come in a separate video. I'm going to concentrate more on them in a separate video, but I'll give you my first impressions of them as well. My genuine thoughts and feelings. If there's any negatives, I'll be mentioning them. Conversely, any positives, obviously, I'll be bringing them to life as well to guide you in the right direction. Going to be connecting things like my Velocity 1 flight yoke, my Velocity 1 flight stick as well, and give you my thoughts on what I think about the Velocity 1 stand. This will be one of the first reviews you'll see of this. So I'm massively excited and very honored to be doing this. Listen, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get into this video. And okay, straight down to business with the stand and rudder pedals. Got the stand out of the box. Thankfully, there's no boxes within boxes with these things. I've left the rudder pedals in the box. I'll show you that later just to show you generally how these things are packaged. Does come, the stand came with cardboard protectors protecting the stand. There's a plastic bag there next to my Velocity 1 flight and that was wrapped, the stand was wrapped in that. Excellent packaging as always from Turtle Beach. Stand itself, let's just show you Turtle Beach branding. Still got some packaging on the stand. One of the most thankful surprises, ingenious parts about this stand in my opinion is that itself ready assembled it's ready assembled there's no putting this together it's all set up let's just lift that up it's not too heavy i'll come on to that later as well there's no nuts and bolts bolts to configure no confusing instructions no getting it wrong it's set up and ready to go you just need to pull it out set it up put your peripherals on it and away you go. Do you know how much of a time saver <laughs> that can be? I've had similar products, gaming chairs, cockpit chairs in the past. Came with quite confusing instructions. Took me a couple of hours to assemble. This, I don't even need to go through that painful process. Absolutely brilliant, Turtle Beach. It's almost worth the, the price of entry alone, that. I'll come on to that more later, particularly in the conclusion. Comes with other bits and pieces. I'm not quite sure what these are yet, but I'll probably uh, discover that later. Comes with a couple of cable ties. I believe there's two there. You just pull them apart. I believe so. So there you go. That's quite handy to tie your cables once you have your peripherals configured on the stand. Or set up comes with a very simple instruction manual because it's self-assembled there's not much to go through that's actually backwards there we go upside down that's the right way now there's not much to actually go through it's just going through the basics like I said because it's already assembled it's just showing you the, the basics of how to set the stand up which is great it's all it needs winner winner again that's the stand and that's the thing I'm con um, concentrating most on in this video. But I'm going to show you the rudder pedals. I can't resist. <laughs> You've probably seen reviews of the rudder pedals before. This is how it comes packaged. 
Very well protected. All nicely wrapped up. Brilliant. Job done. Comes with a couple of uh, cables, mats, non-slip mats, and other things in there. Springs, I will come, I will do a separate review of the rudder pedals, of course, but I will touch upon them in this video. I just have to. Instruction manual. So there you go. But I will be setting this these up on the stand. It's one of the things I must do. One thing I will mention before I move on. I got this delivered two streets down from work. Two streets down from where I live. <laughs> I got this delivered at my workplace, which is two streets, a couple of blocks away from where I live. A friend from work helped me carry the rudder pedals. He carried the rudder pedals. I carried the stand. It was quite easy. It was quite movable. In fact, it's not too heavy. If you want the exact dimensions, the exact weight, I'm going to leave the Turtle Beach Discord link down in the description. Go to them, get it officially, rather than me getting my tape measure and weights and goodness knows what out. Just ask a question on the Turtle Beach Discord if you're wanting to know the dimensions and exact weight. I'll even link the website for the Turtle Beach stand as well, so you could take a look at their various bits of information on there. You best ask in there. Okay, so now let's move on. Let's set this thing up. If there's anything of note that I feel is important, I'll obviously show you that as I'm setting it up. Okay, I'm just a few moments on from the last part I recorded. Turn the stand over, pull this stand up. This stand, or that pole up, which will support the yoke system or flight stick or whatever. Just a few minutes. There's a couple of things I want to touch upon, a couple of features, which are rather nice. You've got the rudder plate here for your rudders. There's knobs here, tiny knobs. I've untightened them all, and you can move that along. Tighten these back up, and that will stay still. You can see a latch there. That's for uh, adjusting the height of the stand. I'm just going to untighten it. It's going to come down. All very straightforward. And then you can put that back up. Another tightening latch here, or knob here, and that lets you change the angle of the plate here for your yoke. Let me just tighten that back up. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll tighten that, tighten that back up and set it up later. I'm just showing you all the different features. It's got rubber ties feet on the base of the unit. So where the unit sits on the floor, it's not going anywhere. Putting a lot of strength to move that. All my strength, I can't move that. So you're not going to have this, even without peripheral setup on this. It's not moving, it's going to stay still. It's got a lovely feel to it. It's cast iron, isn't it? But it's got a lovely feel. More branding on the front there, Turtle Beach. It does have a very luxury feel, but so simple. Oops, just knocked my headphones there. So simple to set up. Very, very simple. Whilst we're here, we'll turn this over. Otherwise, I'm going to tangle myself up in wires. You can see a couple of nuts and bolts here. This is for this plate here. This was on this side. Obviously, the throttle's on the other side on the Turtle Beach. You can take it off altogether, but I've just put it on the other side in preparation for putting my yoke on there. And that's just a matter of a couple of nuts, wing nut screws and washer there, as you can see there. So all very straightforward. Within minutes, you could get set up. Let me continue in putting my peripherals on there, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, just a quick update, and uh, this will be important for those of you who will be buying the stand. Let's start at the top here. I did say this was on the wrong side. It was on the right side. So I've switched it back over. Just need to put the other nut in. Took me just a moment. That was on the right side, because that's the configuration you want it. If you're using this with the Velocity 1, if you have this the other way, so this is pointing this way, and you put your yoke on there, it goes so far back that you're not going to be able, be able to use your yoke. You want it this way. It'll make sense once I've mounted it. So that's for the yoke. That's for the throttle support. And if I read 
the instructions, it does tell you that. Right there, there's a yolk part there, so it tells you it's, it was in the right configuration. Something else I want to touch upon, I've got the ruddy out. Oh, I've got to resist doing a review on these right now, these, <laughs> these are the business. But regardless, I've got the ruddy out, I try to put them on the unit. Remember this plate, let me just... Oh. Let's not break the rudders. There we go. Put them to one side. Remember this plate was turned the other way round. I had to take all these these screw out completely. Unscrew those completely. Turn the plate this way up. Which makes sense. And you've got the Turtle Beach branding. And that's when the rudders line up. And you can put them on. Tighten the knobs. And away you go. So just be aware. At least mine came with this reversed. So I just had to uns unscrew them. Reverse the plate, screw them back in, it took me just a couple of minutes, and then I'll fix the rudders on with screws. It's coming together, chaps. I'm more excited than ever now to get everything set up and get cracking with this. I'll set the whole thing up, and I'll be back in a moment. So, I've got my Velocity 1 flight yoke attached. I've got my rudder pedals screwed in. Screws the socks. I'll be giving you a demonstration of this later. Don't worry, in flight. Got them screwed in so I'm not moving. I've adjusted them to where I want them. I can still adjust them with that sliding plate. It makes it easy. With the Velocity 1 flight yoke. Now you do get screws of it. And in the instruction manual that came with the stand, it shows you how to screw it in. I haven't. I've used the clamps that come. So if I can show you with the velocity one and clamped it to this. Now I'm not going to endorse that method because if that comes off, you've got a nasty accident. Especially if you bought the rudder pedals as well, one of them's going to go bye bye. But I've ensured that the clamps are tight, and so far, feels lovely. Feels lovely. <laughs> I've got to say, with that clamped on there. Just, it just gives that yoke a little bit more flexibility. I don't know. I'm going to try it in the sim and show you that setup. I've also, just for demonstration, come this way because I've got my headphones wired to my computer and there will be an accident. Just for demonstration, that's the lead coming out of the Velocity 1 going into the PC. I've used the table a cable tie to tie it there. Now I could tie it up here, use both of them in fact, why not? But I might use one, I've not got the rudders plugged in, I might use another cable tie that's too supplied for that. Well there you go, pull that tight, a little bit tighter, well, no that's fine. Got it tied in, so it's not all over the place. It's those extra little features that come with honey, uh, Turtle Beach products, that was a, almost a Freudian slip there. Those extra little features that come with them, that can make all the difference. Ignore the background, just concentrate on the stand and the setup. Listen, that's the Velocity 1 setup, Velocity 1 flight. Let me put the flight stick on there, and I will screw that in this time, and show you that. So, this time the setup with the Velocity 1 flight stick. I put two screws, obviously it comes with three of these screws, the flight stick. Put two in. It's either at the back there, I think. Having issues with your flight stick moving around? No longer. And I've still got the rudders attached here. Oh, helicopter setup. Obviously, I've still got this plugged into my PC just for the effects for the lights. But uh, So I've not cable tied that cable. But if I had it nearer to the PC, I could cable tie it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's put me in the mood for helicopters. Okay, so chaps, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to attach, reattach my flight yoke system, the Velocity 1 flight yoke. Reattach that, connect it to the PC, and give you a demonstration of how this is going to work and feel when flying. Okay, so test flight time, guys. Ready to fly there. Cessna 172. Let's bring in the camera footage. So there you go. You should be able to see my system now. I've got some slippers on. 
to hold the holes in my socks. <laughs> I'm just wearing an old pair of socks. Now, hopefully you can see the system there. Yeah, you look down. Uh, something I didn't mention, I'll probably mention this in the conclusion, but you can see I've got it pushed in towards the desk. It's almost like it's at the same angle when I play flight sim or fly with my yoke on the desk. So that's brilliant. It just feels like, yeah, I'm more in a cockpit type situation. Okay, I'm just going to throttle up a little bit, release the parking brake. Uh, yep. Go, 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 little Cessna. A little bit more throttle. There we go. We're off. We're moving. Just going to use the rudders a little bit. There we go. Getting used to these Velocity 1 rudder pedals. Feel lovely, especially on that stand. There's no moving about. Feels like they're actually attached to some kind of uh, aircraft now <laughs> instead of just under the desk. Uh, that's a difficult perception to get your mind uh, clued in on, but it does. It actually feels like it's part of a an aeroplane cockpit. Okay, rudders for working fine. Just go for a quick test flight. Just to show you how it looks when... Well, this is how my setup looks. Something I'll be keeping around. Oops. Used the wrong rudder there. There we go. Center line, center line, center line. Uh... This is my set probably something I'm gonna keep around for some time. I'll get onto that later just because it's not taking much of a footprint It's not taking up much room basically well, Let's just get this aircraft under control. There is a few issues with the velocity one flight trim wheel It's more it's not syncing with the sim correctly uh, So when you first use it take off come off autopilot you can find it out of trim Hopefully that's going to be fixed in either a firmware or flight sim update. But I've no doubt that will be fixed at some point. There you go. I'm flying around as normal. But I've got my feet on some lovely rudder pedals. Looking down at my controls when I look down I think, oh goodness, you know, this feels like a bit like a cockpit now. <laughs> and it's not taking up much room, you know, it's only taking up a little bit more room than I would normally take up with my controls, rudders. And flight yacht system. Only a bit more. I'll get onto that later. So there you go, chaps. Listen, it's just to give you a demonstration of how it may look when you're flying. Looks and feels fantastic, I've got to say. Does feel more now when I'm going for flights. Like, like I said, like I'm more in an actual cockpit. How a cockpit would feel. Brilliant. I'll be using my flight stick with this as well because I love the feel of the flight stick. Okay, let me take you to my conclusion. Okay, so conclusion and recommendation time. Do I recommend you go out and buy the Velocity 1 flight stand? Well, look, if you own other Turtle Beach products, the rudder pedals and flight yoke especially, this is going to be a no-brainer. I mean, look at it. it. Just It's just made for those products. If you're on something like Xbox, you have the Velocity T-Flight rudder pedals and the Holtas 1. I'm going to show you the plates for the where the yoke or flight stick goes. You can see that it's got various holes so you can attach various different flight sim peripherals. So if you're on the T-Flight rudder pedals and Holtas 1, this could also be an option. By the way, the tin sole doesn't come with it. <laughs> I've just put that there for effect. Christmas is round the corner. Show this video to your loved ones, your wife, your girlfriend, your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister. Say, look, do you want to buy me a nice Christmas present? I wouldn't mind one of them if you don't own any of these products. I wouldn't mind the whole lot if you're from quite a wealthy family. It's going to be an ideal present. By the way, something I didn't mention before, you can extend this back sort of uh, bar here and it just improves the stability. It's not going to move anyway, but it might rock a bit just because of the shape as you're using it. You might get a bit of rocking here and there, but it's hardly noticeable, especially when you've got your feet on the rudder pedals and you're in the sim. You don't really notice, but that's just because of the ergonomics of the actual stand. But like I said, I'm just nitpicking. I can't find any real negatives for this Velocity 1 flight stand. 
And one of the, as I mentioned before, it comes out of the box ready assembled. Now I did say, I mentioned that I reviewed some time ago the Flight Simulator, Flight Simulator Lite cockpit chair. That had something like hundreds of different screws and bolts. Took me hours to get together. Took me ages to record that video just because I had to assemble it. And I felt I was going wrong in certain places. You're not going to have that issue. Another thing with this stand. Easily foldable and stack it away. I'll show you a picture on screen where I'm going to fold mine. I'll keep the rudder pedals on. Fold the stand down. Take the uh, flight uh, yoke off. Fold it down and stick it in a corner. Doesn't take up much room at all. Those are big selling points for me. But what do you think? Listen, let me know your thoughts on the video. This is going to be available soon. Like I said, link below to the Velocity One Flight Stand website. Where you can buy it and you'll be able to buy it from other places. Available soon. I say go get it. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'm going to take a bit of a break now. I'm going for a short trip to Ireland next week. And I just feel I need a break from recording. This video's taken me quite a while. It's going to take me quite a while to edit. So probably next video will be next weekend. Likely be on the rudder pedals. Okay, I'll see you soon.